an interim government will rule Nigeria. <laughs> the interim government that will rule Nigeria would not be military. It's not a coup. So many prophecies have been released in the past in Nigeria, especially in 2023. A lot of pastors, bishops, prophets released prophecies concerning the Nigeria presidential election. Some of them played that well, while some of them did not play out at all. The video about to watch right now is another episode of what went wrong. We are going to be looking at some of these prophecies and try to analyze and see why they did not play out according to the way the man of God or woman of God said it is going to play out. Please, I want you to join me in this discussion discussion drop your comment about this in the comment section drop your opinion in the comment section let's learn together i want to learn from you why you also learn from me because it is important for us to look at all these things because you see some of, sometimes uh, we look at some of these uh, prophecies from these uh, prophetess and this prophet we criticize them and all the rest but we have not taken our time to look at what happened why they did not play out at all so please let all watch this video look at this prophecy and try to understand what went wrong please don't forget share the video on all social media platforms share with your friends and love them don't forget also drop your comment in the comment section let us learn together god bless you as you do so watch the video if you understand many things i've said over the years you begin to understand them by these things i say about two years ago you remember i told you that the second shall become the first do you remember and by that I refer to the highest apex seat of power in Nigeria and I didn't tell you that it's going to be five years time or in another government I said in this government that was all the Lord told me and that was all I said today's date is what? shout it 19th of 2023 all right if you ask me a straight question on the road and just say who will be the next president of Nigeria, Tabuari? My answer will shock you, but you will understand later. Because the ways of the prophet is from the ways of man. If you ask me on the road, just walking on the road, and you do you do not ask me to explain anything. I say, sir, after Buari, who is the next president of Nigeria? Do you know the name I'll tell you? Yemi Oshibaju. I told you, I said my words will shock you. I know you are confused already. Believe me, it's my office. I say it again, hear me carefully, if you ask me on the street, except he, you know, there's always the will of man. But now, hear me carefully, not the will of the people now. The will of the people has been sealed, as in looking into the sky. But if you ask me, I say, after Buhari, who is the next person who would sit on the seat called the throne of Nigeria in Azeroth? I will tell you the name is Yemi Oshiba, except when the man says no. But mark my word, it will be offered. The presidential election will be peaceful. Don't be afraid. They will not be killed. Go out and vote. However, so because there is no money to buy vote, he will lose in the pools. But already there is a partnership with a man in the system that will cause the vote to be rigged. So suddenly I saw the numbers dropping and I saw INEC announcing PAT as a winner. However, follow me. I even saw what he was wearing. He was announced winner and he was you will see we will see a video where we'll do like this. The video we trend. is coming 
a greater than NSAS is coming. People, the doors will be shut. You will not go to work. You will be in your houses. How will this revolution start? Hear me. How will the revolution start? Somehow, the information will spill out that the election was rigged. Then the youth will get to the street. It won't just be Lagos. It will be almost every state of Nigeria. The youth will get to the street and they will start the protests. These protests will be will lead to a revolution. You hear me? Peter will be will go to court. He will go to court. And the day for swearing him to Nubu will come. I saw white, I saw green. About to be sworn him that day. And everybody that has said he's the next president will be rejoicing. We say, Yes, I told you. Prophet, I don't see far. Was I telling you? Did I tell you to know who is the next president? And while at that event, it looks like a very open ground, like a stadium like center. You know, I'm, I'm telling you what we happened. So, uh, while at that event, military men will come in and they will arrest you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm playing a movie before you have it. So that you will know that prophecy is not just calling people's name. Mark my word. So. I'm speaking from my office. I'm not speaking by a gift. He will be arrested. And at that point, an interim government will rule Nigeria. <laughs> the interim government that will rule Nigeria would not be military. It's not a coup. The military will partner with the interim government and they would ask who should be put on the throne. Buhari will say, I'm done. I'm for peace. And they will say, make Oshibacho. Now, for fear of previous relationship of Oshibacho with Bart, Oshibacho might say, I don't want. If he says so, they will look for another. That's the only condition. But what I saw, but that Oshibajo accepted and he became a president. But that side has a question mark, a condition to it. I'm sure that you have listened to the prophecy and I'm sure you pay serious attention to this. This is the only thing I'm going to say concerning this prophecy. You see, I always tell people this. Any time we, we are talking about prophecy, this is what I always tell people. You see, we need to understand these things. Number one, God's ways are not our ways. God's ways are not our ways at all. God does not function like a man. So I'm not going to sit down here. I, I need to make that clear. I will not sit down here to condemn or criticize any man of God, any prophet of God, any prophetess of God, and all the rest. I will not do that. I will not do that because I always tell people this that I did not give them this prophecy. I did not say uh, God said when God did not say. I was not there when God gave them this word. But there is one thing I need us to understand. I need us to understand that we serve a God that never fails. We serve a God that never fails. In as much as I will not sit down here to call any pastor or any prophetess name. I will try to make us understand this fact that we serve a God that will never fail. And we serve a God that will never put his servant uh, to shame. God will never send out any person just to shame them. God does not do that. He said that heaven and earth will pass away. He said that my word will remain true. He said that because the Bible said that God has magnified his word above his own name. So it means that whatever he says, he does. If he says A, it is A. If he says B, it is B. 
that is it god never changes it's not a god that will say eh, eh, it will rain today and tomorrow he will not say i have changed my mind though it will not rain again that is not god god never change if he said this thing is going to happen it will happen it will happen i always cite this example to people if you go to the bible you look at the story of king hezekiah when the prophet brought a word that he is going to die that he should prepare he should prepare himself prepare his home and all the rest that he is going to die king hezekiah went back to 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 intercede that is the second thing i need you to know that we have a system called the system of intercession there is a way that there is a prophecy you will get right now you, you, if god brings a word to you and it's not something that you actually like you can actually go and plead go and intercede go and plead your cause before god that was what king Hezekiah did he pleaded he interceded and guess what uh, just look at what god did i just needed to take take note of that god did not tell king Hezekiah, okay i have heard you you will not die again do you know if god had done that do you know what would have happened to the prophet king hezekiah will likely start seeing that prophet as a liar he will likely be seeing that that prophet that prophet as somebody that don't even hear from god if god just decided okay i've heard this guy's prayer i've heard this man's prayer let me leave him let nothing happen again but god did not do that it takes us back to what I said earlier. God will never put, send that his, his servant or his prophet to shame them. God will never send you out to shame you. If God say go and do this thing, he will not make you push you out so that people will start mocking you. After King Hezekiah prayed, God went back to his servant. The prophet he gave the word. He said go back to King Hezekiah. He said, because of what you have... Man, oh, see, eh, I tell you that God is a faithful God. God is not a man that lies. Neither is he the son of man that you should repent. Whatever he says, he does. He went back to... He told King Hezekiah, go back to this man. He said, I have heard your cry. I have heard your prayer. You see, man, you, one will be wondering, do you know what will be going through the mind of, of uh, King Hezekiah? See, our God is a beautiful God. Though. He will be wondering now, okay, for this man to know that I even prayed, I even interceded, then it is God that sent him. Do you see what, what is happening? I'm, I'm sure you are trying to understand. I'm sure that you are seeing what is playing out. The prophet went back and said, God, I've heard your, your, your prayer, your intercession. Instead of you to die, he said he is going to add more age to you. You will not die again. Rather, he is adding more age. <laughs> See, God is a beautiful God. Though. Let nobody fool you. That is why I always tell people, eh, you need to learn to study your Bible. Study your Bible. If when you study your Bible, you will not be worried about the things going on around you and all the rest. You will not be bothered. When a man of God speaks, you will be able to discern, to know, okay, this is from God and this is not from God. Because whatever is coming, you look at it, first of all, from the lenses of the scripture. And then secondly, you connect with the Holy Spirit that is at work in you and try to discern, to know if this thing is actually from coming from God. If this word is actually coming from God. Because I always tell people, some people speak out of emotions. So that is why it is important for you to have that spirit of discernment to know when somebody is speaking out of emotion and to know when somebody is speaking based on what they have heard from God. We are in a very dangerous time. The time we are in right now is a very dangerous time. The Bible said that many prophets will arise <laughs> and deceive many and he said if care is not even taken is not taken that they can even deceive the elect it tells you that we are in a very dangerous period we are it is important as a believer for you to connect with your with the holy spirit so that you can be able to have and develop that spirit of discernment so that people will not use you and deceive you if you look at what happened in 2023 a lot of prophets came out to say god said thus says the lord this will happen that will happen many of them sorry many of them got it wrong 
and honestly i like i said i will never sit here to condemn anybody but i am trying to help us understand how we should be looking at some of these things in as much as we did not give this prophet these messages we did not speak to this prophet we we are not there when god spoke to them if you have the spirit of discernment you will know when they are coming with their right message and I need you to have this thing in, at the back of your mind. I will repeat it again. God will not send you out, his servant, to deceive you. To turn you into an object of mockery. God will never do it. It is beneath God. God will never do it. I am telling you, quote me anywhere. God will never do it. So when you hear all these things, so when I look at it, oh, the God said this and it did not happen. Listen. If God said this will happen and God has said, okay, I am changing my mind. God will come back before that thing plays out to also speak through that same mouth that brought that information. God will also speak through that same mouth. If God has changed his mind and said this thing does not, he will not wait for the thing to happen. He will not say, I changed my mind. No, 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 no. If that thing is beneath God, we, would, we, we must not make God look too small. Don't make God look too small. If you understand these things about God, you will understand how God operates. He, he will never lie. He will never deceive you. He will never send that his servant to turn them into an object of mockery. A lot of pastors and prophets, they were mocked. A lot of prophetess, they were mocked because of what happened in 2023 presidential election. People have, have almost given up in prophecies thank god for the ones that played out thank god we had so many of them we had so many but you see it is important for us to pray read your bible study your bible develop that relationship with god develop that relationship with the holy spirit third thing i need you to understand is this you see, as a believer, as a believer, you must try as much as you can in this time we are in right now or not to be carried away by emotions. Don't let, when it comes to things like this, put your emotions aside because that is where a lot of people are getting it wrong. A lot of us operate based on our emotions. Yes, you are a believer, you are a Christian. Yes, you, you, you love the things of God. But you see, you need to start, you, you need, when you hear things, eh, process it first. Relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Think. And then consult the Holy Spirit that is in you, if you have it. If you don't have it, develop it. It, it will help you in this time we are in. Because a lot of people are being deceived. A lot of people are being used. Because they cannot descend. They cannot. They don't know the difference between right and wrong. Left and right. They don't know when God is speaking. When man is speaking. When the flesh is speaking. They don't know. They don't know. So you see this prophe prophecy we have just uh, uh, heard right now. I am not saying that it is fake. That is not what I am saying. I am not here to judge. I will never sit here to judge. All I'm saying is that when we hear prophecies like this, if we have that spirit of discernment, we'll be able to know where this prophecy is coming from. This prophecy right now actually did not play out the way it was said it would play out. That is why we are asking that question. What went wrong? What went wrong? Why didn't it play out like that? Please, if you have an answer to this question, please, you can drop it in the comment section. Also, we have a number in the description of the video. If you want to come live on our on our channel to try to explain some of these things to us, you can contact us through the number in, in, in the description. Let us talk. So that we need answers. Some of us need answers to, this, to the, all these things. What went wrong? What went wrong? Because a lot of pastors, they got it wrong. The prophecies did not play out the way they said it. And it is making people are now mocking when they hear, when we even post prophecy that is genuine. People hardly, people 
hardly believe because of what happened in 2023 and what has been happening in the past. Prophet will say A, B will happen. Prophetess will say B, D will happen. What went wrong? What happened? All these things are questions that is in the heart of many and also in my own heart. It is, it is just so sad. It is also sad. But I will not condemn anybody. I will not condemn any man of God. No. Because I know that, okay, even though this thing has happened, maybe this, this thing can be an interpretation problem. Because sometimes I can, you can send somebody, you can give somebody a message, they may not be able to communicate it the right way because of the way they understood it. Maybe they also did not hear well. Or maybe they let their emotions set in. What they thought would happen. Instead of hearing clearly from God. I don't know. But I'm just trying to understand what went wrong. So please, I will urge us. Let us do, just do these two things for me. First of all, pray for our pastors. Pray for our men of God. That God should guide them. Anyone that have lost their way, that have missed it, that God should help them, like, redirect their step, order their step again, so that they can retrace, come back, repent, and start moving in the right direction. Number two, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. It is important for us to pray for our country, Nigeria. A lot is happening. People are suffering. People are dying. People are hungry. People are starving. So it is important for us to pray for our country, Nigeria. I am begging us, let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. And as you do so, I know that God is going to meet you at the point of your need in the name of Jesus. You will not die young in the name of Jesus. You will not die early in the name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your hands upon will succeed in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will not swallow you. You will live long enough to witness the greater, the bigger and the better Nigeria that will soon come. I know it will happen. All you just need to do is to have faith. Regardless of all you are seeing right now, the Bible said that why we look not at the things that are seen, he said that they are temporary. Fix your mind on the things that you cannot see. All the things you are seeing right now, they are subject to change. They will change. Things will not remain like this forever. Mark my word. Things will not remain like this forever. Nigeria will be better again. Nigeria will be big again. Nigeria will be great again. I know it. I know it. And I need you to know it too. I need you to know it too. So please do me a favor. Share the video on our social media platform. Share with your friends and loved ones. Don't forget, like this video right now and drop a comment in the comment section. Share your opinion about this in the comment section. Because by doing this, it triggered the YouTube algorithm to continue to recommend this video to more people. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next episode. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.